As a fan of the Far Cry series, I couldn't wait to get my hands on Far Cry 6. And if you are a fan of the game, Far Cry 6 does bring what you are expecting from a Far Cry game, with a few little differences just to separate it from its predecessors. Far Cry 6 takes place in the fictional island of Yara and is happening with the backdrop of a modern day guerrilla revolution taking place. The main villain of this game, which is one of the main selling points of most Far Cry games, is Anton Castillo. He is a ruthless, extremely smug dictator who is pushing intense nationalism trying to get his drug onto the market. The drug is a cure for cancer and is ironically created by tobacco leaves by spraying an extremely toxic gas on it which doesn't exactly scream out for a healthy work environment. To ensure that people will mend their crops, Anton has pushed the narrative of fake yarns and real true yarns. And of course the fake yarns are the ones that get sent off to work in the toxic fields. Not everyone is happy with the ruthless heavy handed dictatorship of Anton and there has been pockets of guerrilla uprisings happening across the island to little success. That's where Danny comes in. You play as Danny, to which you can play either as a male or a female character, which can be chosen at the start by picking what your license is. Just like previous iterations of Far Cry, you go through different regions while trying to unlock and free them and build up a resistance before you can take on the main boss at the end. One difference between this and other previous games is now that your clothing has perks. This could be as simple as making sure that you have fire retardant gloves that can put flames out in case your flame drawer goes amiss. Or you can increase your stamina stats and sneaking ability if you play more stealth like. What I did like is you can actually mix and match the actual skin. So just say you like the stats of one thing but you like the look of another, you can kind of combine that so that it looks the way you want to look, which I do like. Another thing which was missing from other games is you can now run around in certain areas in third person mode. This is really cool that you can actually see your character's customization from time to time. Which I do think gives Danny a bit more personality in this game. You're not just a faceless character for the most part. They've also got really big into crafting items from whatever you find around. So there is a lot of very unique custom weapons that you can build by finding scraps around the place and then just going to local workbenches. One of these weapons in particular is called the Supremo, which is basically is like a super attack that attaches to your back. You only get to use this once in a while because it has to recharge and you can make different variations depending on your playstyle. For example, you can make one that will fire rockets from your back, which can definitely get you out of a sticky situation. Or you can make a one that will create an EMP and shut down local electronics, making you able to sneak in quietly. There's also an emphasis on using the correct ammo type on the correct enemy. For example, using soft target rounds will deal heavy damage against unarmored targets, but using armored piercing round will make light work of penetrating helmets and body armor. Thankfully, you don't have to craft the ammo individually once you just stick that ammo type on your gun. And if you have just rounds on you, it'll be used as that ammo type, which is definitely a good thing for gameplay. Another thing that is brought into this Far Cry 6 is Amigos. These are animal NPCs that follow you around and help you with your situation. The first one you come across is the alligator who is pretty good for if you're going in guns blazing and shooting as he will definitely distract a few enemies by just mauling them for you. You can also get the little dog with the little wheelchair. There are a few more scattered out throughout the map. And that said, the map is quite big. It is made up of five distinct regions that you can explore, which are pretty much all about one explorable at the start once you get past the prologue. I haven't had a chance to explore the full map in a lot of detail yet, but it definitely makes you want to explore. I mean, there is a lot of diversity between the different regions. And one thing I like as well that's a little different from other Far Cry games is you can actually travel relatively safely now, as in as long as you don't have a gun just waving about, you're probably not going to get too much hassle from guards. That said, they do like to just pick on civilians, so they may just choose to pick on you. Getting around is pretty easy as well. You can call a car whenever you want, which is a nice addition. Plus you have planes, helicopters, horses in abundance. You can even get a tank and a lot more. Sometimes with some of the mission designs, I did feel like I was just going back and forth across the map needlessly, but there is a lot to discover and unlock in all parts of the map. So I did find myself getting like distracted and taking a bit of a detour quite a lot as well. That said, I am a bit of a completionist, so you know, that's why I kind of do like Far Cry games for that kind of stuff. 
It's also worth noting here that the enemies level up as you do, which can make previous levels that you've been to actually get harder if you return to them, as Anton systematically reinforces those areas with guards as you get more of a threat to him. One thing that has taken the Far Cry series from a game that I just really, really like to a game that I love is the co-op modes. Playing this game can be a hell of a lot of fun when you're playing in co-op with somebody and although I haven't sadly been able to check this out for myself yet, but I am really looking forward to doing that because the whole campaign is playable co-op, inventory carries over seamlessly throughout the session of both players, which is good so that you're not feeling deprived if you're just joining someone's session. There is, from what I've read, a limit to how far you can go from your friend in the game, so you have to stick kind of close to them, but it's still, it is a lot of fun, so I can't wait to do that over the weekend. Story-wise, I am definitely drawn to want to complete the game, but I haven't seen a lot of Anton in the cutscenes yet. Maybe one or two main cutscenes for him, but I, w I want to see more. Some of the set pieces in the story so far have been really cool, but some of the missions just seem very like generic fetch questy kind of missions. Some of the characters I just really like, and I love hearing from them in cutscenes and stuff, and others, I don't know. <laughs> just even though they're meant to be on your side, I just don't really like them that much. That said, uh, even if you're not really invested in the mission, or it's just kind of generic, but the gunplay and game mechanics are just so solid that even though you might just be getting some uranium from a base, it can still be a lot of fun and there's a hell of a lot of loot that you can pick up that you might want to try in different bases. So, so far, I'm actually really positive about the game. I've really been enjoying it so far. I was actually really lucky that Ubisoft reached out and gave me a copy for review a couple of days early. This video isn't sponsored in any way to by Ubisoft, and if I didn't like the game, I'd be telling you I didn't like the game. But I do like Far Cry games, and I do like this version of Far Cry. I can't comment too much on the story, not that I would give away spoilers anyway, but I still have a huge amount left to play in the main campaign and there is a lot of side content that I've still left to do. Ubisoft have also outlined a roadmap for the future leading up to March 22nd with a few paid DLCs but a lot of free content as well with gear each week, new special operations and new crossover missions so I'm confident I'll be playing this game for a while longer. Massive thanks to Ubisoft for sending this game out to me and because I did get it a few days early I really wanted to actually share what my thoughts were with you. I might do a live stream on the channel just so if any of you have any more questions for me on the game I'd be happy to answer in that. I will keep the live stream early in game so that it doesn't spoil a huge lot for those of you who want to play it. Shout out to all the members of the channel you guys are amazing and okay I'll catch you in the next video.